All right, what's happening everybody? Here we are. It is April 25th today here in South Central Wisconsin. You can see we're starting to get some green on the trees, some green on the ground. And uh, it's getting to be turkey season here, but today we are focusing on our second video for the switch switchgrass series. So I am standing in the same switchgrass field that I did the last video in, which was roughly about a month ago. So since then, as you can see, they're still pretty brown. Now what I've done since that point, on April 3rd, I came into all of my switchgrass fields, which is roughly two acres, two other ones, a little bit bigger than this, this field here, and I sprayed Simazine at three quarts per acre. So you can see how green it is kind of around me here. You know, a lot of the grass is green, but that Simazine, that pre-emergent really helps. So this field definitely did the best with the Simazine. Uh, there's hardly any green in here. Um, so I probably will not spray this field today with glyphosate, just because I don't think it's gonna need it. Um, I kind of reassess this field in maybe three weeks, uh, depending on soil temp, of course. And I may spray it once with glyphosate, we'll see. We'll see what the weather brings. They're talking mid 50s to low 60s over the next two weeks. So we'll see, kind of depends on what the te weather temp is. But today my project is, I got the sprayer here on the four wheeler. Nothing special, it's a boom sprayer. I think it's got eight foot boom on it. And I got it full of glyphosate and amosol. So there's some other areas that I'm gonna be spraying out here besides just the switch grass. But what I got in here is roughly 30 gallons of water and six quarts of glyphosate and four quarts roughly of amosol, which is the water conditioner, which helps the stuff stick to the weeds. So today's project, what I am doing is, like I said, today's April 25th. Um, first things first, when spraying the switchgrass, you gotta make sure that your switchgrass isn't germinating well. I checked this morning online, um, let me see, what was that website? I use it every year. Go back here on my phone. Greencast is the website. Just Google it online and it'll give you soil temps. And as of today, the 24 hour average was 50.8 degrees and the five day average was 45.6. So we know that German, that switchgrass doesn't germinate until low to mid 50s. So we are not worried about spraying right now. You are not gonna hurt your switchgrass by spraying it with glyphosate. So that's where we are right now. So today I'm going out spraying all my switchgrass fields, touch touch up kinda to see where the weeds are bad. And we're gonna spray two quarts per acre for the switchgrass fields. Now I got more on there than I need, but that's cause I gotta sp spray around some, some trees and stuff that I planted out here in the past. But that is what we are doing for today's project. Um, and like I said, we will reassess in a few weeks, kind of see where we're at, see with how the fields are looking uh, and if they need another contact spray. So you know, just a quick recap, this field was planted roughly uh, 13, 14 months ago. So this is year two switchgrass. Um, see, there's nothing growing yet. I mowed this three times last year to keep it down. You can see there's some foxtail that's laying down on the ground here. Uh, I'm going to combat that with quinclorac this year. If I need to, we will see. So we're going to have to kind of keep our eye on this the next few weeks and see what's coming up. And uh, if we need to hit it with some quinclorac this summer, we will. And if I do, I will let you guys know and we will put that in another video to show you the rates and see what we're looking for and why we're doing that. But we're going to get started right away this morning. It's a beautiful day. Temperatures are mid 40s today upper 40s sun's out not too windy so should be a good time to go spraying
All right, so here we are in field number two, let's call it. Uh, another area that I planted switchgrass last year. So this is very similar to the first one. Everything was sprayed and planted on the same day. So, all right, it's a little bit bigger, this field. And you can see there's a lot more green in it. Um, clover, looks like a lot of it. Some grass is coming up, it's probably some canary grass. You can see there's a lot of foxtail that was in here as well. Um, just, just some crappy weeds. We know that the, with the um, temperature right now that none of this grass is switch grass, so it's a good field to spray. Uh, our trusty weatherman said that it was going to be five mile per hour winds today. It's probably a little closer to 10, a little bit breezier than I'd like to spray, but we're going to get it done nonetheless. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, spray this field quick and from there we will head to field three. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Wind's picking up even more now, which is wonderful. But here's some switchgrass that I planted. This would have been like three-year-old switchgrass. So this is when I used to really cut corners and just kind of hope for the best. That's what I got out of the whole field right there. Stuff is pretty nice. It's probably six feet tall. And that got mowed at least once last year so it's still pretty tall but i wanted to show you one more thing in regards to the simazine application that i did three weeks ago ish so right up here you can kind of see the green strip right here so that's an area that i missed with the sprayer so you can see it's like the perfect width as it turns to the left that's how i spray this field and, and that just gives you a pretty good indication as to what that simazine does do. So this field, uh, some of this was green when I did simazine it, which simazine acts as a pre-emergent. So it keeps the weeds from coming up. Once they are up, it's not gonna do anything. So it's probably why this field is pretty bad. Um, and it doesn't look more like that other field, that first field we were looked at, looking at. But, but yeah, you can see right there, proof is in the pudding as far as using that simazine, how much it does help. So. All right, we're going to head to the next field. So here we are, the third field. This is probably the field I'm most excited for, um, to be honest with you. The deer like to bat up in this little corner as it is. They can kind of see all the way around them and they can look right down this hill. And uh, you know, they kind of got a pretty good view of the most of the property, you know, and then this is a really good transition too as they head over the hill to where some big marshes are. Um, come rut and they like to run right down this edge kind of run right down in here and then head into the woods so this is a really good corner i always see a lot of deer up here in the rut and they're just kind of following these railroad tracks right along this edge this line of movement so just trying to thicken them up a little here make a little small little bedding area uh just an option for the deer to to lay up here in this corner as they move into the woods or you know sometimes they cut straight across or that tallest tree that's right over there i gotta stand stand in there and the deer definitely like kind of funneling right right through that opening and just to the the right side the west side of that tree uh, but anyways back to the switchgrass so this field is similar to the field number two so this field's pretty close to an acre um 
but yeah you can see that there's definitely some green coming up and honestly I might be doing this just a touch early um, but with my schedule the way it is I might not be able to get out here for two weeks to spray so I'm just gonna get on it now and take care of it because they are talking that we might get some 80 degree weather this week and a little bit of rain so that's really gonna green some stuff up too so but yeah this is the final field we'll get this sprayed down and uh, from there we will be done with our application for the first round of glyphosate potentially the last round of glyphosate depending on the weather and how much this greens up but uh, yeah we'll see like I said end of April give it you know until this soil temp gets to low 50s at that point I'll stop spraying which could be a week could be two could be three depending on what the weather is but yeah and we will see like I said second year switchgrass all three of these fields this is their second year all planted on the same day last year in, in March frost seeded so yeah we'll see this year I don't plan on mowing these fields at all but uh, like I said totally weather dependent and totally dependent on what we got coming up if we got a good stand of switch we'll let her go we won't mow if it seems a little bit weedy we potentially might mow once twice this year depending on on what we got so let's get started all right all so that's a wrap for switchgrass series part two first round of glide so got her all sprayed still got some left in the sprayer we'll spray around some trees that we planted and uh give her a couple weeks and see what we got and just to uh, kind of remind you guys too that this is you know I don't know if this is gonna work I'm trying to follow uh, a lot of other habitat managers ways of thinking uh, I kind of take a little bit from one guy and take a little bit from another guy and kind of piece them together and kind of come up with my own concoction what I think is gonna work because I, I believe that every property is a little bit different every soil types a little bit different the weeds gonna grow different you know the switch is gonna grow at different rates different paces so this is what I'm doing. Like I said, year two switchgrass. This year will be the year, the telly tale, if we're gonna actually have a stand of switch here or not. So, said about two acres and I uh, got our fingers crossed. Hopefully it pans out, but I'm gonna be adding some more videos too now. I'm gonna go to an area that I planted for frost seeded switchgrass this year. So this will be year one switch. And uh, I'll, I'll make that a separate video and uh, kind of talk about what I'm doing this year. I'm doing some experiments, uh, switching some stuff up, just to see where I can get the switchgrass to grow. Um, it's various different types of soil um, and kind of different terrain, and you guys will see all those videos on the next video. But I appreciate you guys following, and uh, before you know it, deer season will be here. Thanks for watching, guys.